Hi, it's Iris Clausen, and I would love to show to you my Windows Store app. I just submitted it to Windows Store. I hope it gets published, but I can't wait, so I'm showing it now. So, once you enter the page, you might want to click on how to add and have a really good read at the six keys to success in weight training. Also explains uh, how you should use the program. And if you hit calculate afterwards, this is a smart calculator. You enter how many repetitions you want to do, how many you did last time and the amount of weight used. And it will calculate for you a safe progressive overload. That's pretty neat. Of course the app works in snap mode, it has to and it does. If you have a look at log entries, this is how it looks like. This is done and planned and injuries. We have none planned yet, but I'm going to show you in just a few seconds how you do that. To add a new entry, you can just fill in the information on the right hand side or you click on an exercise and it pre-fills everything there and you can just edit and add, it and add a new one. So if you click on date and time like so, you can set the date and you can set the time and yeah, you've seen the date and time picker before. I'm just explaining because otherwise it gets too quiet and it gets boring. Okay, so if you didn't have an injury, you just turn it off and you turn on. If you did have an injury, let me just double check I'm using the right exercise. Yeah, butterfly, mm, that's the one, I had an injury there and it was a neck injury and the type of injury was a, a strain yes it was a strain and add and i think we missed out on a pretty cool feature so let me do that again click on an exercise like so and let's set a new date like so if i now click on get values it'll actually calculate for me how much i should use at the gym that's pretty cool and then I'll click add because I've already done it you know I had I had uh, the computer with me or the slate surface whatever you're using so but you might want to schedule an exercise instead and you can select anything between 0 and 30 percent overload don't go too crazy you know so 9 percent will do and then you will set a date for when you want to do the exercise like so and click OK and then OK again and look it calculates for you how much you should aim for and when you click on planned you can see there the exercise there it is and if you click on add now it'll get added and it'll disappear from the scheduled ones and these are the injuries if you click on one of them you get the information about the exercise and the injury why we're doing this because we want to see some really cool stats I love stats maybe injuries per exercise area or you just want to see total injuries per area and type this is pretty cool show this to your physical ther therapist and he or she they're gonna be blown away okay I'm exaggerating but they're gonna like it so it's, it's good to have you know and you can also see exercise entries per exercise area to make sure you have a well-balanced workout which I haven't been having but I have had a pretty decent increase on my Romanian deadlift uh, look at that okay only two entries but still you know and the butterfly one has been going a little bit up and down but overall pretty good and you can also see top and bottom rep max exercises of course it doesn't work in snap mode you know it would just get too tiny you couldn't read it so no snap mode for that one and that is basically the app i've been making this summer and i hope you like it and i sure hope it gets published and doesn't crash so yeah thank you for listening i'm super excited about this and i'm working on so many other apps so yeah, let's see. <laughs> let's see how this goes. Yeah, you can read about it on the blog. Thank you and goodbye. Hallo bra, hello.